Okay, so here's the best way to plan from your list. So the first thing you would do is you create a list. And I have a ton of lists, so we're just gonna utilize those. But you create a list and um, go ahead and type in a name and then you go to either the search or the browse and you would add recipes to that list. So if you're searching for chicken recipes or you want low carb recipes or you wanna build a list of your husband and kids' favorites, whatever. Then what you would do is you would open the list that you wanna pull from in your, um, in another tab. So for example, say I'm planning for a low carb day and I want recipes under five ingredients. So I would open that in a new tab and that would pull that list up. And then I'm gonna to go to my planner and I'm going to plan for that day. So I already added this on here, so I'm gonna delete that. But essentially I would look at my list and be like, okay, what do I wanna eat? Oh, that lemon chicken looks so good. So we're gonna type in lemon chicken with Parmesan green beans. Honestly, if you type in lemon chicken recipe, it'll probably just come up. And that would pull right up so I can find it and easily add it to, oh, there are a lot of chicken with lemons. So you might want to be a little bit more specific, but it's HP 720, nope, 632. So it's this one here. So you'd add that. One portion. And then maybe for lunch, I want to have another low carb recipe. So maybe HP 589. So just like that. That's probably the easier way versus typing in the title and searching by the HP net code. Easily add that. And then I'm not sure that I have any breakfast recipes on here, but um, again, like if I had a breakfast recipe, I could pull from that. Or I could search for a breakfast recipe right in the planner. So maybe I want to just have um, frittata. Cheddar frittata, add that. One portion there. See where I'm at for the day after that. Okay, so I'm 40 grams of protein. I need about 300 more calories, so maybe for a snack, I'm gonna have some peanut butter. Give me some more fat for the day. Not peanut butter cookie. Just one tablespoon of peanut butter. Um, actually, I'm gonna add two. And then of course I need the olive oil that I'm cooking with for my chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and add olive oil in there. There we go, my day is complete. So hopefully that makes it easier um, on how I build lists and add. The other thing you can do is, um, nice day, that's perfect. The other thing you can do is go to your cookbook and open up your favorites. So if you like a recipe, um, and you click on the little heart button, it'll actually add it to your favorites. So that's another good way if you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna pull from the recipes that I love, um, you can click on that list and again, search for those recipes in the planner. You'll see this little heart there, that's what you'll do to add it to your favorites list. So again, you could go and search like HP 057 to add that to um, your planner for the day.